Good morning, guys. It's about 6 a.m. in the morning. Spectacular view. Sun is starting to come up. I still have the Mazda Miata today. Uh, I'm going to be driving it with somebody kind of interesting a little bit later. But for now, I'm just getting my morning walk in. I generally walk about a uh, mile and a half to two miles every morning. And of course, it's good for me. But the real reason is I, I hope I see something cool. There's all kinds of animals, uh, cool cars on the street, fantastic houses, and you never know what you might run into. Morning swim. Pretty nice. The only question is, why aren't you doing this? I'm so grateful for this beautiful day. No matter where you live, you've got to find a place to do something awesome on days like this. I'm going. Actually, it entitles you to go into the actual museum and check out all those
look who I have. Uh, we're, we're in the Miata. What's up, man? Oh, yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> To be honest, I grew up with V8s, but I'm still very excited. I know, there's something about this car. It's it's just a full-size go-kart. Yeah, yeah you know? that's that's the excitement. Uh, you can have some fun. We're, we're just going to go for a spin. It's not, you know, um, yeah. it's hard to spell. <laughs> but, uh, we're going to go have a little bit of fun in the Miata. He hasn't driven this. This is the brand new 2017 MX-5 RF edition. So RF means? Uh, really fast. Cool. See, for what it is, it's probably, I don't know, 20, 2,300 pounds. And it stalls really nicely. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really I'll good at this. I'll trust me. I'm, 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 no, no, no. It's good. <laughs> if you look at all my Back to the Future videos, I yep. stall every Back to the Future car like seven times. Well, at least you're consistent. <laughs> you know, and there's lots of things to remember. You know, in this in car. car. You know, a car. <laughs> Normal safety, safety, you know? safety uh, issues. What What is it about with your channel? What is it about movie cars that you love so much? Um, it's always been my motivating force behind cars, and cars have always been my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. Um, actually, the reason why I called it. The aficionado is because my first word I ever said was auto, and I'm from here, I'm Polish, and oh. so auto is car, and my first word was car. There you go. That's <laughs> so uh, I, have to I get the same thing. I said carito, yeah, little car. Nice. That was my first word. So <laughs> we're in the same boat and in the same car, no less. Yeah. But movie cars have always motivated every car purchase I've ever done. Um, my favorite cars are movie cars. My dream car is Eleanor from Gone Seconds, the Seconds, yeah. the new one, not the old one, sorry. Right. The Mustang I own right now is because of Eleanor. Yeah. Um, the motorcycle I own right now is because of The Great Escape. Right. So, um, and I think I think that's consistent with most car people. They watch movies and the cars become the hero. Oh, yeah. You want that in your life, you know? Is there any uh, movie cars you haven't driven that you'd like to drive? Um, my white whale is still Eleanor. I haven't been able to drive one. I rarely ever see them on the road. Yeah. Um, and just Eleanor and every Fast and Furious car because they, you know they're just exciting. Like my favorite so far that I've ever driven is Dom's Charger, and I want yeah. to drive all the other ones. Oh yeah. We had a pretty good time. It's a fun car. Best, best part of the car for you so far? Uh, just on the road feel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks fantastic. Let's go. Let's let's ignore yeah. that fact. But yeah. like, you can throw it into corners, and it's it's very forgiving. Like, yeah. you can't make mistakes like that with heavy cars, right? Yeah. But you can do it. You can just go. Uh, you can chuck it in there. It's fine. But if you are gentle and you and you give it respect, it rewards like amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. The, uh, my hands are shaking. That's what happens that's when you let someone did. else drive. That's, that's, I got to switch. That's story. That's I got well done. <laughs> this, this arm holds better. That means I drove it really well. <laughs> we had a good time. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. I, I loved it. I mean, it's such a great car. I honestly, um, I'd buy one. I would if I had the money. I mean, yeah. 34 grand is a bit high, but maybe instead, does every Target version cost that much, or is it just this Brembo brake version? Just this, yeah. Just okay. the RF so maybe version. just the Targa without the Brembo brakes. Yeah. Right? No, it'd be cool. I think I would definitely buy it. Going from a V8 guy, from a big muscle car guy, yeah. you know, yeah. I could definitely do this. But I am kind of doing a little switch to European lightweight cars. You know? Right. Though it's not European, right. it has the same feel. So you're going to get into this and you're going to go get in your, in your huge beast. It's time to get into there. the Charger, yeah. You want to join me? Well, let's go and <laughs> take a look at it. Yeah. Today I told you it was going to be a Swedish car episode. Helicopter. And that we were going to be swapping the Miata for the, the whatever Swedish car is going to be coming. But that got delayed by a day. Hold on. Sorry about that. Great time driving with Chris. Thanks Chris so much for spending some time with me. Uh, having a great time in the Miata. Very cool car, right? I mean. A lot of fun. Be sure to check out uh, Chris's channel on YouTube, The Aficionado. He does all kinds of neat stuff with movie cars. Great filmmaker, great director, and super passionate. 
about cars and car culture. And speaking of car culture, this is the number one place, uh, if I don't mind saying so, this is the number one place for the car culture scene, primarily in Southern California, but uh, worldwide we do a lot of stuff too. But there's no place better where you're gonna find people that build cool cars, design cool cars, car shows, car culture in general, with a little mix of beach life, surfing, and some woodies here and there. You know what I'm talking about, but we wrap that whole thing in the guise of inspiration. You know, we're trying to inspire you guys. That's what our channel's about. We're trying to get you guys to do what you love. You know, if, if you're in a job that's difficult and you're you're spending all that time and you're not spending time pursuing what you love, you gotta get that going, you gotta get that ball rolling because this life is about living your dreams. This life is about following your heart. And hopefully through our blog and through the positiveness that's involved in this blog, will help you guys to live a positive life. And that starts with thinking positive and having a tremendous amount of gratitude. So I wanna express some gratitude to you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. We got some really great followers out there, some great fans, and we got some great stuff coming up from this magazine right here. If you guys are familiar with Drive Magazine, I got an article that's coming out in the next issue, the September issue. It's gonna be sweet. And it's about a car you all know. If you've been watching the vlog, there's a specific car, a unique car. We just had it on the vlog just recently. Ken just grabbed it took it to his shop. You guessed it, we're talking about Tony Dow's car, the Corvair. There's a great article in Drive Magazine. It's gonna be coming. Be sure to pick it up. September, right there. All right, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Do what you love, love what you do. We'll see you tomorrow.